Wait, is, is this on? Can you hear me? Okay, let's do this. Sue and I have both been at the Field Museum over 10 years now. In that time, new research has brought our image of T-Rex into sharper focus. Of course, things weren't always so clear. Hey, zoom in right here, guys. When the first T-Rex was discovered in 1902, scientists assumed it had three fingers like Allosaurus. But by the time they found fossils with only two fingers, Hollywood had already made the three-fingered version famous. Yeah, I guess it does look more imposing that way. These movies did show how scientists at that time thought T-Rex stood upright and dragging his tail on the ground. But in the 1970s, scientists started to think of dinosaurs as agile and bird-like. After that, scientific drawings got a lot more vibrant. Hey, I like this one. And in 1993, a new movie cemented the active, no-tail-dragging image of T-Rex with the public, Jurassic Park. But after studying Sue, we saw that Jurassic Park got a few details wrong. Don't move! Can't see us if we don't move. The part of her brain that processed smells was large, which gave T-Rex a good sense of smell. Hmm, standing still probably was not the way to go. And according to recent computer models, it should have been easy to escape in a Jeep. T-Rex probably only reached the top speed of 18 miles per hour. Hmm, I bet I hit that on my ride to work. 3D computer models also helped us estimate Sue's weight at 9 tons. Too big, um, too small. Here we go, that's the right one. That's 25% more than we thought just a few years ago. Now that we found fossils of young T-Rex, we know those arms didn't always seem tiny. Is that in the frame? As the rest of her body grew, they just didn't keep up. Sue reached full size at 19 and lived to be 28 years old. I can tell by counting growth lines in a cross-section of one of her ribs. Studying Sue in new ways allows our image of T-Rex to get sharper long after she was first found. Whoa, hang on! It's not just T-Rex we look at. Recent discoveries of other fossil species have changed things too. Since we keep finding fossil feathers on related dinosaurs, T-Rex probably had at least some downy feathers. They could have been used for insulation, or show, or maybe both. Just not for flying. As scientists continue to make new discoveries, our image of T-Rex keeps changing. So, uh, when do you think we'll see a T-Rex like that in the movies?